All right, what I'm looking for in the summertime, I always like to start my day out. You guys know me well enough. I'm going to start out buzzing and plopping in the summertime. And, 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 and from there, the day will progress. Then bass will come off that bank after they get done up there because they're feeding at night and so on and so forth. And I'll start looking for, for bump out. I call them bump outs, going down straighter banks, you know, halfway back in pockets, but really start to focus on what are maybe some deeper humps or some longer points that come out uh, out on the main lake, you know, and pick up like a 6XD or Carolina rig or something like that and look for them deeper uh, parts. Uh, that's what I'll do in the summertime and, and also look for uh, deeper boat docks um, so I can maybe go spoon jacking. I love spoon jacking in summertime. But what helps out a bunch is making sure you have the proper shade relief color uh, on your Garmin units. It really helps me show, for, for example, and I'll show you guys on my graph here, everything in red on my graph is like five feet or less. The next color I got is orange. And then, and then like five more feet is all orange. So from six feet, to 12 feet roughly six feet to 12 feet is all orange and then after 12 feet my colors go to yellow i might pick up on something while going down the bank maybe if i'm even flipping a jig at, at a boat dock or um you know i remember one time we were at conroe texas um and, and i was looking for specific boat docks and they all look the same with the eyeball with your eyes visually they all look the same but i found out after uh, the light bulb finally clicked on in my so slow, super slow acting brain, that the docks that I'd actually get bid on were the docks at the end of the docks were in the orange on the shade relief. So I stopped what I was doing and fishing lots and lots of docks. I stopped what I was doing and I just started looking for those docks because you'll see on your Garmin, you'll see that dock on your graph. I started looking for those docks that the end of the dock sit out there almost to yellow and almost all of that dock was in orange. What's that mean to me? That's your shade relief I'm talking about. That's the depth you want to start looking for. All right. Also in the summertime, green. I'm looking for green on mine. Green's going to show up. Come on, check this out. Green's going to show up to me. If you don't have shade relief, you won't see it. It bumps up. Look at that green. These are all humps out here that come up high enough that make me curious and I want to go look at them. All right. Look how that humps up real hard right there. All that green, 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 green goes out there and that's up to like 20 foot of water and it shows it 15 to 20 foot of water. This is, this is how you use your shade relief. You can set up the colors the way you want on your graph. That way you know where you're at when you're running. Sometimes in, in the summertime too, if the top water bite's going strong, I want to make sure that my boat is running in the red the whole day long. So that's how you use your shade relief on your Garmin. I don't care if you got a one a one twenty six SV a uh, a one hundred six SV unit. This is a this is a ten right here, but the shade relief is critical and it's an important thing. I tell you the other thing besides the shade relief you should be always running is running a trail. Know where you've been. Know what's effective for you. You know, you, you use these trails. You might have to go back and fish. And like, if I'd caught one right there, which I did, and we didn't make a waypoint. I caught one right there. I can make a, 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 a waypoint. I know on that trail, I caught one. It's just a good, steady reminder. Because believe it or not, after three or four days of fishing, you start to lose track. It's like, man, what, when did I fish that? Or have I been down that deal? So I run trails from day one of practice to the end of the tournament, I'll run a trail and I'll know when I make a waypoint, it'll tell me the date and time that I made that waypoint. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, that was the second day of practice. And I caught them at nine o'clock right there. Okay, let's let's pick up for that. So a lot of things you can do and why your, your Garmin units are important to help you be a more successful angler.